Okay, so when it comes back to index, let us quickly give a review of what and all we did. We did about differentiation. We did differentiation. It's nothing but change in y for a corresponding change in x as delta x approaches 0 and we said that this is dy by dx we could even call it as f dash x that is we took the function we did how we did uh, we found a change in y whatever is the current upon change in x we find it and that gives you the derivative then we did some simple formula we did the formula for x raised to n which is nothing but mx raised to n minus 1 d by dx of it and e raised to x d by dx is e raised to x itself then a raised to x d by dx is nothing but a raised to x your a to the base e x raised to a of course we have then we have log x we said the derivative is 1 by x and log a raised to x we said the derivative is 1 by x into log e to the base. Alright, so we did this and then we did the addition and subtraction rule. Suppose there are two functions u plus v, y, u plus or minus, then dy by dx is nothing but du by dx plus or minus dv by dx. We did quite a number of examples on this. Then Coming to chain rule, there's a lot of problems. So you just quickly take it over your chain rule or product and quotient rule. Suppose y is equal to uv, we said that dy by dx is nothing but u into dv by dx plus v into dv by dx. And suppose y is equal to u by v, then we said dy by dx is nothing but v square d du by dx minus u into dv by dx. Yes, chain rule we did. Suppose you have a function within a function, we that dy by dx is nothing but dy by du into du by dx. We find function within a function. And so we get all it is du by dv. Then is another function we do dv by dx. We get so many examples of these. For example, e raised to x now 3x. We first wrote it as e raised to 3x, then derivative of 3x that is 3x. Now chain rule is where very many candidates have a tendency to skip one of the functions. So you need to take a little bit smaller. Logarithmic expression, we did cases like y is equal to x raised to x. How when you take logarithms, you get log y is equal to x log x. Then we use the chain rule here and then the product rule here and find the difference is differential of this. And then wherever there is y, we will substitute the value. Parametric functions, we did examples of parametric functions when y is equal to 3 ap square x is equal to 4 ap then you want to find dy by dx dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt upon dx upon dt if you get that Lots of examples we have done based on this implicit function was the second last topic which we touched upon. We did examples like x square y plus xy is equal to suppose 5. How do you find the dy by dx of this? We use product rule, find the derivative, product rule, find the derivative, collect all the dy by dx terms together, together, and the other terms on this side, and dy by dx is this one upon this. And then we did concepts of second derivative where it is important for you to remember d by dx of d by by d, which is what is the second derivative is d square y by dx square, which is also written as f double dash x, and which should not be confused with d y by dx double square. Here we find the derivative, first derivative, and then square. Thus, we find 
these various concepts. We have done a large number of examples over here. And I do hope and I'm sure by the end of the session you must have gained quite a lot. But as I have been telling you, you need to memorize the formula, the five, six, or seven essential formulas. You keep using them in so many different ways. Only thing is the ways in which you use depending upon the situation will really. vary. So I do hope it was an effective session. Good evening.